been a while since I showed any Johnny Lightning pieces. They've been, uh, the name's been around for a long time. It's been owned by uh, different people. Was gone for a long time, came back. Now it's owned by Tommy. There's only a few pieces that I really like to collect that I uh, will really want to add to my collection. That's definitely their hearses. Here you have the uh, 1957 Chevy on the back. They released their stuff in waves, so right here, release 24. Here's the other cars that were in that release. Here's a peek uh, the rest of the card there. Now I got this one in the stores. Johnny Lightning's, I think they're only available right now in uh, the major toy stores would be Toys R Us and Walmart. Toys R Us has a, uh, a Johnny Lightning's in uh, two versions. They have a lower price point and a higher price point. I think all the higher price point models have uh, rubber tires. I'm really not sure. This one here, I really didn't think that I was going to find on the pegs. So I bought it off of an eBay seller. What a cool model. GMC 6x6 tanker truck. I thought, I'll never find this on the pigs. Johnny Lightning has a little problem with distribution. It's hard for them to it's hard for them to get the stores to get their cars on the pigs. Not only that, you know, because they got uh, you know a dozen cars in each wave, maybe uh, the stores don't order every wave. But uh, I thought it was time to open up a couple Johnnies, take a closer look. I took a moment to look at some of the details of this model. It's got opening hood, a little scant engine in there, but a little something for the adult collector. What's really cool about this car is it's got rubber tires. I mean, lots of rubber tires. Look, it's got a spare tire up there. It's got a spare tire underneath. Not only that, it has real dualies. It has real dual axles, not uh, simulated. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rubber tires on a model. I, I don't have any cars or any models in my collection that have twelve rubber tires on them. Especially a single body. This, this has to be the record for 164 scale to uh, for the number of rubber tires on the model. There's a gas tank. There's a little spare gas tank on the side. I tried to pull this tire off. It's kind of stuck. So I don't, I don't know if they have it glued in there. <clears throat> I have no idea how it's stuck in there. So I don't want to mess it up. Give you the 360 while I'm opening up the 1957 Chevy, the Hearst type model. The Hearst type model is going to have rubber, uh, plastic tires. Generally, I stick to the plastic tires. But as you can see in front of you, there are some rubber tire versions that I have to pick up. Another thing about the Johnny Lightnings is they don't put the names on the bases, hardly ever. Well, I can't say hardly ever. I don't know how often. But on the turntable again was the GMC 6x6 tanker truck. Because now when, I, guess I'll, I guess I could clip the name off of the package. Or I'll just search my own videos to find out the name of the truck. Because once I put it in the jammer, I don't know the name of the truck. Let's go ahead and open up the uh, hood on this guy. There you go. It's got some engine detail. Opening hood. This one, the uh, hood closes very nicely. I love larger die casts like the hearses. Couldn't tell you really why, I just, just really like them. I tend to buy every one they come out with, even though it's just a recolor and I already have one, I do tend to pick them all up. They did take this one, and let me show you a couple older versions of the hearses. There's the opening hood on this one, same model, as you can tell by the details, except they put a little... Uh, light on top this one's probably my favorite uh, regular hearse from Johnny Lightning and of course uh, 
there is a, a popular model that uh, I believe was a hearse. Of course, they had the uh, the Ectomobile. I don't remember which one it was. Ecto one, two, three. I think Ecto two. Actually, now that I think about it, because it had the uh, Ghostbusters logo. This Ghostbusters logo. See, yeah, I think it's the Ecto two. But anyways, there's a couple Johnnies. Haven't opened them up in a while. That's because uh, kind of takes a takes time for the cars to hit the pegs from each slot. Not only that, even if they. Uh, if they do hit the pegs, I'm not at the stores often enough to get the best cars. So anyways, uh, there you go. A couple recent Johnnies I picked up. One I found in the store and the other I just picked up picked up off of eBay. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.